This week on Making It, inside the fast-paced world of celebrity journalism. We're so behind. I've really got to talk about stuff that's on the boil, okay? An unrelenting deputy bureau chief on the East Coast. That is what a gossip reporter will do to get it. A persistent chase reporter on the West Coast. I'm going to the Scientology party, so if you don't hear from me yeah. after Saturday, you gotta take call the, the police. Party. Looks like Paris Hilton. Are you Paris? They're on the trail of Star Magazine's cover story. The photos are really jarring. Yeah. These are great. Yes, we love bony backs. <laughs> I wonder if there's any celebrities there. Will they get the scoop? I have to get the facts. We getting it now? Uh, um, can we get it right now? Or will they stay in the dark? I went to Lermitage and I don't know where the hell she is. All right, enough. Okay, all right, we'll talk later, bye. The deadline approaches hey. on making it. <laughs> get out. <laughs> We're gonna call Jessica Simpson's rep now. My name is David Kaplan, and I'm 32 years old, and I was born in Toronto. I graduated from Ryerson with a degree in journalism in May of 1998, and even before convocation, I moved to New York. So I started at Star Magazine in August of 2003, when the magazine was relaunching from a supermarket tabloid into a glossy weekly, and I was really excited about sort of entering the world of celebrity journalism. It was a really hot category at the time in the market, and I wanted to be part of it, and especially at Star, where we really delve into people's personal lives. We really look at what makes them tick. We look, you know, who they're dating, who they're hooking up with, you know, what the drama is in their life right now. It's Thursday morning, and like every week at Star, it's time to start seriously planning this week's cover stories. When one's job is chasing hard-to-pin-down celebrities, keeping track of them all is a challenge. Hi, can we start with Angelina, please? Is she... Yeah. Do we know where she is? Well... No, we didn't see anything of her last night. Okay, well... But we are still there. We're at the hotel. But the last that I heard was that she had dinner at the Roosevelt Hotel. The Roosevelt? Yeah, on Monday night. She prefers staying at the Bel Air Hotel when Brad's out of town because she feels safe. Is there any work at the house? No, I mean, very no activity at the house. And, and from what we can see, no, no sign of any, like, work going on. Okay, we should not be doing the floor. We don't think so. I would look at the Hermitage as well today. I think, Sandra, when you're done with the meeting, head there, okay? Okay. All right, let's move on to the next story. Because this just, we need information here. That's what we need. We just don't have it, okay? We're so behind. I've really got to talk about stuff that's on the boil, okay? Okay, I want to talk about Tom and Katie now. Tom and Katie's very first date aboard his jet that never left right. the hangar. Their very first date, he must have proposed something to her. Don't Definitely. You think? So oh, yes. something has something happened to make her have second thoughts. That's what I we. I mean, that's the whole thing. Kind of that's the whole basis of this way. story, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fabulous. Let's okay. move to Jennifer Aniston. This is the Matthew McConaughey yeah. story. Right? I know that. Oh. Are we getting anywhere with that, guys? Yeah, we filed yesterday, Joe. Oh, good. What did it say? Um, basically. Well, he 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 thinks that the two of them would be a perfect match. That's interesting. It's good. So I'm going to sign off, guys, because we've got a lot of stuff to assign, OK? With the morning's brainstorming finished, it's time to get the reporters on the job. The East Coast and West Coast offices swing into action. I think it's called the group Al Anon. It's like, I think, supporters of Alcoholics Anonymous. I don't think it's Alcoholics Anonymous. And just to see what advice would they give Mel Gibson's wife. I want you to go down to Malibu to just look at the uh, the Brangelina house, see what's going on out there. Can you just find out, Zach Braff is filming a movie right now in New York. You just deal with photo just to get the photos and see if they can ID where exactly he's filming in New York. Okay. Call me when you get there, okay? All right. Goodbye. Shira. So we're gonna do a story about Ashley Simpson, sort of along the lines of she like addicted to plastic surgery, and that's for Friday. All right, cool, thank you. All right. <laughs> Going to Malibu. One of the cover stories for next week may be about 
where's Angelina and what's going on with Angelina and Brad? Because apparently she hasn't been staying at the house. I'm really good friends with all the paparazzi. And we're not supposed to be, but I think it's really important and I think it's really helpful. They know what's going on. If anybody knows what's going on, they know what's going on. That is the famous moon shadows. And that's where Mel Gibson was, dr was drinking. And this is the street that he was arrested on and he was going 80 miles an hour. Cross Creek Road is very famous. And thank God it exists. This is the famous Starbucks. I wonder if there's any celebrities there. Oh, is this Brad Pitt's house? Is this Brad Pitt's house? What? Is this Brad Pitt's house? Oh, I can't tell you that, ma'am. You know we can't talk. Well, you're talking right now. You know we can't talk. All right, so these guys are not talking, but miracle of miracles, the property gates are opening. As they open, Sandra gets a peek and notices there's construction going on inside. Okay, see you later. I'll be back. <laughs> I don't know why no one's here. That means that I bet you she went to the airport. Hey, it's me. They open the gate and they're doing construction. There's a, there's a paint truck out front. So no wonder she's not staying at the house. So anyway, I heard from somebody that she may be taking flying lessons. Do you think she's flying in this, this awful weather? So do you want me to go to the Santa Monica airport or Le Mirage? Are you sure? Because maybe she's flying. This is the time she flies. All right, then I'm gonna go to Le Mirage. Jose? Hi, this is, this is Sandra. Did you get my message? You're still working on Brad's house. Are you still working on the Malibu house? Okay, I, how much longer are you gonna be there? Will you have any availability like tomorrow? It doesn't really matter. I just know that you come highly recommended. Brad did. Thank you, Jose. Thank you so much. I look forward to meeting you. Okay, bye. Yeah. Hi, it's Sandra. Hey, it's David in New York. How are you? I'm looking for Angelina. Where do you think Angelina right now may be? At L'Hermitage. Yeah, and I just spoke to her painter. Oh, really? And what did they have to say? I made an appointment. He's going to come over to my house because I told him I needed a couple rooms painted, and I just wanted them... I, I said, I just want them painted the same colors that you're painting Angie's room. All right, work it, have fun, and get that Angelina autograph, okay? <laughs> okay, I will definitely, and I'll get a picture too so we can put it in the magazine. All right, I'll talk to you later, Sandra. Okay, I'll talk to you later, honey. Bye. So, on the direction of Neil, her editor, Sandra heads for the ultra-exclusive L'Hermitage Hotel. She flirts with the doorman and walks right in. I spoke to... The chef, the main chef that I know here, who I'm friends with, and he said that he has not seen her. Okay, now I gotta call Neil. Hey, it's me. Goodbye. He wants me to go to the Bel Air because he thinks Angelina might be there, which is really retarded because I know she's not there, but she might be there. And it's really frustrating because I'm supposed to know, have an answer. You know, I have to track how much, how many miles I'm driving because I'm not paying for this gas. I went to Lermitage and I don't know where the hell she is. I'm not seeing this as a story that can in any way close to their um, Neil. Sandra's been driving around all day, from hotel to hotel, looking for the scoop on Angelina Jolie. Finally, she gets a tip. Hey. 
So anyway, I just got word from a friend of mine that who's a photographer that Angelina was at the Santa Monica airport and that she she was flying in Santa Monica and then flew to Burbank. That came from um, my paparazzi friend who was at the airport. You know, I have to track how much how many miles I'm driving because I'm not paying for this gas. Gas is really expensive. The reason why I think celebrity journalism is such a great fit for me because it's all about gossip and it's all about knowing about other people's lives. And as anyone who will tell you that knows me, I have the biggest mouth and I love to gossip about everyone. So who's more fun to gossip than about celebrities? They tend to be better looking than most people. They have better lives. They have great cars, great toys. They're dating beautiful people. They have great jobs. And so for me, it's a really great fit because I just am obsessed with gossip. As part of my job, I do a lot of radio shows each week and TV to really get the word out about the stories we're doing this week. Especially a show like this one I do on Free FM, it's very, you know, spontaneous, outgoing, and it really makes for great radio. And uh, we're going <laughs> to give out another one of those prize packages. Oh, there's that slimy snake. <laughs> Hey, buddy, welcome! Hey, what's hey, up? David! Hey, 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 what's going on, welcome. man? Welcome, how are you? Good, how are you? What's um, been happening? So, what's happening, David? What's going on, buddy? All what you right. got going on in the magazine? Oh, all right. packed, didn't it? It is. This week oh is a God. busy week. This week, all the circus freaks we'll come out. Um, Katie. Katie. In Tom's prison. That's hot. <laughs> I'm going to believe this. Most of the stuff you guys write, I don't believe. Yeah, right. <laughs> but this, you just look at her, her face, and she yeah. seems so sad. So, there's still the debate on whether there is a baby? Exactly. It's like over 100 days in camp. At this point, wow. the so no baby. pictures, just Nothing. people saying there is a sighting. It's like Bigfoot <laughs> in the Loch Ness. <laughs> like usual, JV and Elvis had a great energy, and they always have so much fun with the stories. Of all the gay rockers, which one would you do? Not Lance Bass. They're oh, all, why not? What's why not? Lance? You know he's clean. But it was David Kaplan, you. thank you very much. Thank Editor you. of Star Magazine. Love thank you. Your TV show. Thank you. At all stores now or newsstands. <laughs> right. Got I'll home. beat it, David. Right. Yeah, thanks, it's guys. <laughs> It's Friday, and in the morning meeting, we've learned that the original story about an apparent rift between Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt has changed. There's a new development. Oh, Brad and Angelina apparently stayed at uh, the Roosevelt Hotel together last night in a penthouse. <laughs> I guess the trial separation's over. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is. It's a beautiful thing. Hmm. Making up is well, beautiful. Yeah. And then they moved up back together. I'll stay back. Bonnie, we so get away with doing this. I know. Like, they painted the, the, the floors. They painted the floors. They must be doing something. They painted. They've got kids. But haven't we been checking and there's been no sign no. of rocks or anything? There is painters there. Oh, and oh. the painters are going to Sandra's house for a consultation tomorrow oh. so she'll find out every day. Okay. It's very funny. Yeah. Now, Ashley Simpson, I think it was three years ago she said she had an eating disorder. I really want to look at it because I think the young readers are very interested. Yeah. In really interested. Jessica looks big. Compare to Ashley. And I think you could write that on the call out. Mm -hmm. Are you including me? Yesterday, Shira got reporting from experts about like about hating yourself, getting all the plastic surgery. Are we still yeah. going to include that? It's not the little part of it. It's all part of it. It's all about the image. It's all about the image. It's trying to control and to make yourself perfect. All right, so the only things I'm going to close today is Aniston. Aniston, yeah. Jessica. And I'm going to get a rough of both the layout and the right of Ashley. <laughs> Captain, you're out of here. <laughs> Get out. <coughs> Besides giving out the stories, today David's got some legal issues to deal with. I need to get a, um, a source agreement for a story that we're working on. Um, it's about Dave Navarro, and there's two women who claim to have had an affair with him while he was married. So we're going to work through it then later just to see, to make sure then that the Dave Navarro interview checks out. And interestingly enough, actually, we're going to interview Carmen this weekend, so we'll try and see what she says as well. <laughs> We're going to the Rosa Hotel because apparently Angelina was there last night with Brad. Brad and Angelina just like to hotel hop.
apparently. So Angelina had dinner here at the Dakota restaurant. I've got to go in and I've got to find Angelina. Or at least I need to at least know that she's been here and Brad because apparently they slept here last night. Friday afternoon. With the weekend comes a pile of possibilities. On the weekend, anything can happen. And we are heading out to the Hamptons, which is the place to be for New Yorkers on the weekend. And we're going to be going to an after party for a movie that there's a screening of out there. And we're going to be interviewing Carmen Electra. OK, there's a girl sitting there with a hat on. Maybe that's a celebrity. Looks like Paris Hilton. Are you Paris? No, I wish. Are you staying at the hotel? Yeah. Are you, have you seen Angelina? Uh, I heard she was here, but no, I haven't seen her. Who'd you hear it from? Oh, people here. Oh, really? OK, so we have a confirmation. Right now, we're entering the main drag of East Hampton, which is a very Tony. Hampton Enclave, and this is where all the CNBC crowd of Manhattan goes to on the weekend. So, of course, we're here this weekend, hanging out with the right people at the right places. I have some information. Actually, I have a lot of information. I have to call Neil immediately. I struck gold. I'm so happy. I found her. Hey, she look hot tonight? She looks so good tonight. Is she wearing Victoria's Secret pink? Victoria's Secret pink. That's hot. Hi. I got info. I'll cut to the chase. Brad and Angelina stayed in the penthouse last night by themselves. The penthouse, it was, um, it's a three-bedroom, um, two-story, $7,000 room. They just left at 12 noon. As dusk falls, it's time for the media to move out to the red carpet. Nothing says style in the Hamptons than a Rolls Royce, that's for sure. A big black Rolls Royce with a big posse. She's looking good. She's looking very Gidget. Carmen may be here for charity, but she's fresh from her split from her rock star husband, so rumors are running rampant. David waits his turn. No, I didn't see them, but I said to the security guard, I said, oh, I heard um, a rumor that Brad Pitt was here, and I was pretending to be, you know, like from out of town. Okay, and he said, hold on, and he says, I just escorted them out. We're the only ones that know this. They had a romantic getaway last night. I got it all. I'm getting a little bit antsy right now, because I want to make sure the interview happens, because a lot of times, you know, with these interviews, you say you're going to get it, and sometimes it doesn't happen just to the women's celebrity. You know, with these interviews, you say you're going to get it, and sometimes it doesn't happen just to the women's celebrity. So I'm getting a little anxious. I think you guys should change the name of the show to Escape from the Hamptons after the night we had tonight. Sometimes it doesn't happen just to the women's celebrity. So I'm getting a little anxious, and I sort of do want to like jump right in there and make sure it happens. Yeah. Can't wait to get on the dance floor and do a little dancing, although my dress is a little short. So. I got to ask you about the dress. I saw you look great. It looks very sort of 60s kitchen. Who made the dress? Who makes this dress? Um, no, no, wait. No, 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 no. no, no. It's, it's not Pucci. It's not Pucci. It's a Nintendo. No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna... I feel like I started a fashion we're drama here. Right now. <laughs> um, Alvarado Bessie. There Thank you go. for solving the fashion the mystery. Right here. Look, the dress is really short, so I'm going to be dancing with my arms together all night. I can't, I can't raise my arms. It looks great. Thank you. Much. Thank you. Carmen broke up with Dave Navarro a few weeks ago, so that's what everyone wants to know about. Everyone wants to know what really happened, but I got the sense from the previous interviews and from the handlers telling those interviewers no marriage questions, that it was off limits, which is unfortunate because that's what I really wanted to know, not so much what who designed her dress. But I got I had my little moment with Carmen, so I like that. And she's a great interviewer. She's adorable, and she looks hot. 
All right, it looks like we're done, so we could head home. Let's go. All right, we're out of there for a one-minute interview with Carmen Electra. That is what a gossip reporter will do to get it. I think you guys should change the name of the show to Escape from the Hamptons after the night we had tonight. David Kaplan. Monday morning and it's deadline day. The New York office is buzzing with everyone trying to file their stories on time. David's under the gun with the Carmen Electra Dave Navarro piece. He's having some trouble. Bottom line is, Wen never did an interview with her directly. They spoke with her, but they didn't turn into an interview. That's what we going back and forth all morning with them. Like, I'm like, you said you spoke with her. She's like, oh, well, we just spoke with her about the contract. But I was like, you saying you spoke with the subject of an interview implies you got an interview from it. Like, do you know what I mean? It was like such semantics with her. All right, enough. Okay, all right, we'll talk later, bye. The L.A. office has ordered a polygraph test to make sure the alleged other woman isn't lying, but the results haven't arrived. I have to get the facts by noon from the polygrapher. Sandra, what's going on with the poly? Yeah, I'm talking to him right now. Good, we're getting it now? Uh, um, can we get it right now? Meanwhile, David needs a comment from Ashley Simpson's rep on her apparent anorexia. It's comment call time. All right, are you ready? It's really, I don't know if you're gonna like this one. Okay, it's about, uh, can we do Ashley first? All right, David. Is Ashley experiencing a relapse of her, uh, is a relapse of her anorexia? Oh, <laughs> you know, when we write stories about celebrities, we call the celebrities publicist because we really do need to get the other point of view. She's never had an eating disorder and she doesn't have one now. He acknowledged, of course, sure, she's lost weight, she's been on tour this past summer, and it's been a really strenuous tour. But he's not going as far to say that she's an eating disorder, which Star likes, you know, to push it a little bit so he wouldn't play ball. Hey. What? I'm oh, God. God. <laughs> Did you get the facts? Yes, I got it. It's fine. Alice in Ordnung. What? I said Alice in Ordnung. What does that mean? That means everything is in order. So I got it. This is this week's cover. For now, we are going with a big Brad and Angelina story that she's moved out. Angelina moves out, but they're back together now, so. But that looked good though, so the reporting came out well. And LA was good stalking them at the hotels and stuff like that, so that story was finished is Matt Jen's new boyfriend. Really a fun story. Another big story is always a great franchise for us is weight-related stories. This week we have Jessica Simpson, who looks like she's gained 20 pounds. Meanwhile, her sister Ashley has lost a lot of weight, prompting us to ask, is Ashley anorexic? Well, you look inside Star and you'll find out. And weight stories always do very well for us. So that's a really fun story. Carmen and Dave, finally the end of that epic saga. It was done. We got the great quotes from the other woman. And we got all the Car some of the Carmen quotes that we got from this past weekend in the Hamptons in the story as well. So that was all integrated. This is a hot story for us and they sell well for Star. This is the cover, so take a good look at it. I think so, yeah. She's, she's pregnant, though. Oh, are you? Congratulations. You Is that Tom Cruise's baby? I thought she was. <laughs> <pregnant. Yes. laughs> I just thought she was a little junky. <laughs> hey, it's, it's the cameraman's wife. That's your lady? No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's your lady? By the way, uh, why don't I have a lapel mic? Uh, <laughs> because you're edited out. Okay. It's the David you're, Kaplan you're, show. No, but you're hooked in. You're hooked into the board. Oh, they did oh, that. Right, yeah, right, that, right. that goes nowhere. I see his little thing back there. Come on.